<laughs> yeah, go folks. DCD triple nine. Um, we're a little bit pumped and sort of annoyed, but we think we've got a cool video for you. The reason we say that is it's 11 p.m. <laughs> and we've been testing this drill for three hours. I reckon it's about 3 a.m. Yeah. Um, look, what we've got here. Did I say it was flex hold advantage? I don't know. Say it's, it again. It's flex hold advantage. <laughs> And what that means, that's part of a new range, including a circular saw, a grinder, or is it a recip? No, a grinder. Um, there'll be a potentially recip, but yeah. definitely grinder, circ, and drill at the moment. What that means is that uh, Dewalt reckon these tools are going to take advantage of the extra power that you get out of the flex volt batteries. Yep. Um, so we weren't content to just put flex volt batteries on yep. and see if it's stronger with those than with a five. Yep. Which... It is. Yep. We weren't content because, being the mad scientist that we are, well, hey, you are. I am. I wanted to know. Well, is that also the case with the existing brushless nine nine six? Yep. Which is, you know, done very well in our past comparisons yep. and such. It's a beast of a drill. Yep. And uh, I wondered. Does this also do great with flex fold batteries on? For sure, because this is the one that quite a lot of people already have. This is yours out of the back of your ute. Yep. We like to know, we, we can tell you go and buy this because it looks sexy, it's a great price and it's a great deal, but there's no point us telling you to do that if it doesn't quite match up to what we would do. That's right. Now, at this point, I'm going to show you a bit of footage of all the holes we've made and all the chips that we've done. Yep. Um, we're a little bit grumpy. <laughs> Because we had to keep going back and confirming results over and over and over again. Yep. Because the results were confusing. They, they were really confusing. Your first takeaway is, this is not simple and easy. Yep. Okay, it's a little bit complex. We've discovered a few things. Firstly, both of these tools benefit from FlexVault batteries. Absolutely. They do. Yep. A considerable amount too, Yep. to be fair. Yep, absolutely. Um, we went from, you know, doing two holes in nine seconds to doing two holes in six seconds. Yep. For instance, that was in um, in hardwood in speed two with a 22 mil orbit. Yep. These are both uh, three speed drill. This FlexVolt Advantage drill is almost a clone of this 996, isn't it? Oh, so close. The only real difference is that I can that we can see visually um, that, that sort of sticks out is the clutch ring here. Yeah. Um, almost looks a bit Stanley Fat Maxis. Yeah. Max -ish yeah, the yellow black there. Yeah. yeah. Just from a cosmetic point of view. Cosmetics, yeah. I prefer the old one a little bit. So do I. But they, they look very, very similar. Very similar. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, uh, we did a bunch of tests in pine. Yep. We used 22 mil auger and 32 mil auger. Yep. And these drills are very powerful, so we're able to do them in speed three and two. Yeah, well, I started with a 16 mil as you walked in the shed. Yeah. And Twano's like, chuck that thing out because they're going to romp it in. Yeah. So he didn't bother. That's not going to happen. Right. Now, what we discovered, the first big takeaway after the fact that they do better on flexies, yep. is that the 999, the new drill, it has a little bit more power and it does the holes easier. Yep. You can hear it groaning less. Absolutely, yeah. But when it gets to the point where it struggles, it checks out. Yep. So the 6 Flexi, 6 -O Flexi in particular, seems to be a real sweet spot for it. It does, yeah. Uh, but you're right. We believe that this thing protects itself more than this. It does. And the, this, this, the old one also has a, a checkout. Yes. And it's, you know, it's... It's middle of the pack for its checkout. Yep. This one's actually a little bit generous in, in that it really protects the drill. It does. And that wall that it gets to and goes, no, no, I'm going to protect myself, it gets there faster. We and, noted that. And especially with a 5 amp hour battery. Yep. That new flex hold advantage drill wants more power than yes. the 5 can give it. Yep. And checks out. So without moving too far forward and without sounding negative, this is probably where we need to talk yep. about the fact that if you are buying a DeWalt drill, 18 volt kit, and you're probably not going to be using flexi batteries a this, lot at all. This is actually the stronger drill, the old 996. That's the way to go. Yeah. Which, which let's, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves just yet. Okay. I was trying to wrap it up already. We have done a lot of timing. And there's a crap ton of graffiti on the bench. My bench that I'm going to have to fix. I'm not going to put them all up on the screen. No. What I am going to tell you is this. 
in hardwood because we initially did old pine, then we went out and we got a red gum, an old red gum fence post. It was hard. Yep. Hard, hard as balls. Yep. Now, in the hardwood, it was checking out quite quickly on the 5 amp hour, the new drill. Yep. But it was um, beating the 996 with the 6 amp hour. Yeah. What we found with the 9 is that it actually did worse on the 9 than the 6 quite often. Yep. That makes no sense to me. It makes no sense and without labouring the point, which is why we're cranky, we went back yep. and did it again. We did. Because it doesn't make sense to us and we're not prepared to sit here and go, eh, hey, it does worse. Because it doesn't, doesn't make enough sense. It really doesn't. But the numbers actually don't lie. It did it over and over. Yep. It would check out on the 9 where with the 6 it had gone all the way through. Yeah. Um, that was also true sometimes on the 996. I yep. say sometimes, I, I, maybe you're getting really sick of how flaky we're being about this, but we're just being honest about what we found. Yep. Um, the results are a bit all over the place while we kept repeating them. So suffice it to say, you're going to get better results on FlexVolt batteries. Yes. You don't need a 9 with either drill. A 6 gives you plenty of juice. Absolutely. 6 amp hour FlexVolt battery. Yep. But... And as you were saying before, if you are decked out with five amp hours, probably fours as well. Yep. And you have no intention of getting flex felt batteries. Not only do you not need the DCD 999, you're actually better off without it. You, you're better off with this. You're better off here. Yep. So if you find a kit with flex felt advantage tools in it, preliminary testing for the circ saw that's over in the corner. Oh yeah. I'd go. Oh, oh I want that. Maybe trade down f from that down to that. If you don't have flexible batteries. If you, yeah. Or you don't want to use them. You're correct. And, and we, we do sound a bit messy and muddy, but yeah. ordinarily we can sit here and go, we've done these tests and here's the data, and bang, we back this in for these reasons. We're struggling to back it in 100%. However, if you're running, like I do, quite a lot of 6 amp hour flexes in my ute. Yep. Because I, I have flexible tools and just for the extra juice yep. that you get as well. You're loaded with them. I am. If you're running flex felt batteries, yep. that is the tool to get. And, and that's a really sweet tool with a six flexi on it. Really, really nice. It's fast, it's powerful. It, uh, it sounds like it's doing it easily. It, it does. Even though the times are sometimes similar, yep. this one labors and that one didn't. Yep. Yep. Um, is that all we have to say? I think so. I think we've covered it. To try and wrap it up, we, we would love every question that you've got, yep. throw it at us. Dwayno's taking that board home. You're going to keep it for at least six months. Mm. If anyone's got any questions, we would love to share what we did, but we're not going to show you every single little piece. What I want to say in wrapping up is that if you think you're going to get into the flexi tools at some point, which I think everybody just about should because there's some magic flex bolt tools, there are. get this, make sure there's a 6 I on it. It is a sweet tool and it's a sweet rig. And if you want to know more about it in general, some more details, yep. you can go back and see the 996 review. Yeah, yeah. Because this is essentially a clone of it. Yep. It's got this brilliant light on the front. Yep. Um, where it puts out 60 lumens or something. Yeah. It stays on forever. Yeah, it was it's, bright, wasn't it? It's a three gear, um, three, three speed gearbox. Three, yep. Really nice. Got the belt hook, got the magnet on the side. Slight design change on that, yep. which you weren't overly happy with because you can normally put an adapter and a socket on the side. I could, yep. But I don't use it a lot, so if you don't use it a lot, don't worry about that. Yep. But check out the 996 because you use that yep. most days. Uh, yeah, I like and my little one better. But, um, oh, compact? Com I use the compact mostly, but okay. yeah, it's, it's a good tool. Yep. Um, love this tool. I would absolutely have this in my ute, but I would always have a flex forward on it. Yeah, fair cool. If I, if I only had fives, I wouldn't I wouldn't think it's a upgrade. Okay. I wouldn't think it's a call an upgrade. Alright. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Please hit us up with any questions. Don't go away saying those guys are flogs. Go away after asking us what's the deal. And don't forget we're reviewing the Flex Volt Advantage circular saw coming up. Yep. So that's going to either confirm or change the story that we've found here. And I I, I think we're gonna I may have done a little wee in my pants when I used that and put a flexi battery on it. Mm, very, yeah. very tidy. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Thanks very much. Follow us on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe. All that stuff. Thank you very much. Check out a new reciprocating saw comparison. Oh, yeah. When's that up? Soon. Bye. See ya. <laughs>